Question 2.7, we have three signals and for each signal we have uh, expressions here. We want to simplify the expressions. So if you look at here, here and here, you see that the expression is multiplication of two parts and the second part is direct delta function. And we want to simplify this. Okay, so uh, let's start one by one. Uh, okay. Well, we know that the direct delta function, the value of this delta omega is one if omega is zero and is zero if omega is not zero, okay? So that means this multiplication is uh, either zero when omega, delta omega is zero Or it equals to the left part, I, I label it by A, I say it is A at omega equals zero when, uh, or we can simply say it is, it is equal to A when delta omega is one, okay? So let's see when delta omega is zero. So it is zero for all t smaller than zero and t larger than zero, okay? And when it is one, as I said, it is one when omega is one. So I can simply say that x of omega equals a when omega is zero. So I should calculate x of omega at omega equals zero, and that's j times omega, and omega is zero, as I said, plus two, times omega squared, this is zero squared, plus nine, times delta at omega zero, which is one. Okay, so this equals two over nine times one, which is two over nine. So I can say that this uh, signal equals two over nine, so I can write it here. So x omega is two over nine, if omega is zero, and is zero if omega is not zero, all right? And for all functions like this, so if, if you have a function, say, uh, if you have, sorry, a signal, say x of omega equals a constant c, okay, for omega zero, and x of omega is zero for omega not equal to zero, you can write it like, um, you can write it like x of omega equals c delta omega because that's actually the delta omega plays the role of these two parts, right? So I can here write it like this, x of omega equals 2 over 9 times delta omega. And this is the simplified version of the signal here. Let's check this for the second signal. Again, we have here we have delta t and we know delta t equals one if t equals zero and it's equal zero if t is not zero. So let's label this part by a. Well, I can say x of t equals a if delta t is one and that means if if t is zero and is zero if delta t is zero because this this is a multiplication here okay so this is zero when t is not zero so let's let's consider the signal for this case because the signal for this case is zero so for the other case is zero so there is nothing here to consider actually and for the case t equals zero this a at t equals zero is e to the power of minus zero times cosine of three times zero minus pi over three, right? So let me write it down here. I can say, all right, x of t uh, at t equals zero is a at t equals zero and that's 
e to the power of minus 0, which is 1 times cosine of minus pi over 3. And cosine of minus pi over 3 is 1 over 2, right? So we have 1 times 1 over 2, and this is 1 over 2. So I can say, finally I can say, x of t is 1 over 2 if t is 0. And as we said here, it is 0 when t is not 0. And again, I can write this signal because it's it's a constant here, so we can write it like xt equals 1 over 2 delta t. Because delta t is 0 when t is not 0 and makes xt 0. And delta t is 1, delta t is one when t is 0 and makes xt equals to 1 over t. So this is the simplified version of this signal here. Okay? Okay, uh, this is part C. This one is, li is a little bit different. Uh, instead of delta t here, we have delta 1 minus t, and I can say delta 1 minus t equals, well, delta direct function like this always uh, is 1 or 0, and it is 1 when the expression here is 0. So here we have 1 minus t, so if... Um, I set that equal to 0, then that means t equals 1. And that means delta of 1 minus t equals 1 if t equals 1. Otherwise, it is 0, okay? So that's the difference between this part, this example, and the previous one. All right. So if I label this part by a, then I can say x of t equals a delta t, or sorry, instead of delta t, then we know the value of the delta t. I don't need to use delta t. I can say 1 and 0 instead of delta t. So then I would say x t would be a if delta t uh, oh God. if delta 1 minus t equals 1 and that means if t equals 1 and it is 0 if delta 1 minus t equals 0 or we can say if t not equal to 1 All right so if I take this case I take this case because for this case xt is 0 so we don't need to do anything all right for the first for the this case here I can calculate x at t equals 1 okay or that means a at t equals 1 okay no difference so x at t equals 1 is sine of pi over 2 times t minus t here is 1 minus 2 divided by t squared which is 1 squared plus 4 and if I calculate this then I'll get uh, minus 1 on top and 5 the denominator so we would have uh, x of t at t equals 1 equals uh, minus 1 over 5 so I can then write it here Uh, yeah, or maybe let's 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 put it here. X of t equals minus one over five if t equals one and is zero if t is not one. Okay, and now I can write this because this is a constant. Okay, I can write this x of t equals minus one over five times delta delta what delta t? No. This should be delta 1 minus t. Okay, so this is the simplified expression for the same signal. 
but uh, if you want to check to see if this is correct or not or if this should be uh, xt equals one and uh, minus one over five times delta t which is wrong we can we can plot these two okay so let me remove all the stuff here And if I plot this, this is t, this is x of t, and well, here is this expression. I, I, I'm considering this expression for x of t, and want to draw that here. So it says a time equal one xt equals minus 1 over 5 and see just assume that this is my <clears throat> minus 1 so this is probably minus 1 over 5 so this is the signal okay and what is the delta t delta t is let me use this color delta a t or unit impulse for the sake of simplicity is this signal okay if i time if i um, multiply uh, delta t if i multiply delta t to minus 1 over 5 that means I should multiply these two signals here okay so when delta t is 1 uh, this part is 0 or I can say x uh, this part yeah this part is 0 so 0 times 1 would be 0 so the result is I can I can draw it here the result for this multiplication I can use a different color the result for this multiplication would be 0 at time t0 at time before t it is still 0 because both parts a and delta t both are 0 so this part is 0 at time t0 delta t is 1 but part a is 0 so the multiplication would be 0 and at time 1 t equals 1 delta t is 0 and part a is 1 the multiplication would be 0 so you see that the signal would be xt would be 0 uh, across all uh, time intervals so this is not what actually we wanted so instead of delta t we should multiply part a to a shifted version of delta t as we had it here okay so that's the reason because if I shift this signal here if I shift delta t then you would have something like this this is delta 1 minus t and we have a so the multiplication of these two gives us a as well a at t equals one and that's what we're looking for so that's why this one is this one is wrong so the correct one is this one